Hey, what's going on guys? Squibblet here, and today we're playing as Shivana in the jungle. So we picked up the Hunter's Machete Refillable Potion and Warring Totem. Taking a look at the teams, we got GP vs Nautilus Top, Shivana Warwick Jungle, Katarina Kali Mid, and Zyra Khan vs Jin, Nami, and Botlane. So, with the new season coming up, I figured let's not, let's practice a champion that's currently extremely good in the jungle. Excuse me while I fix my graphic settings here, it's going to be a big pause on the screen, so don't be scared. Um, but yeah, Shivana currently is extremely good in the jungle. The reason for this is because uh, press the attack synergizes extremely well with her. As you can see, hitting an enemy champion with three consecutive, consecutive basic attack deals 30, 30 bonus damage uh, based on level and makes them vulnerable, increasing the damage they take by 12% from all sources. Now, the reason it's so good on Shivana specifically is because her Q counts as two hits automatically. And so you can just auto someone and Q, and that'll proc press the attack, and that will cause them to take an extreme amount of damage. So that's why we're going Shivana here today. And we're not gonna get a leash from Rakan, it looks like, which is unfortunate. Um, but we'll make it work, we'll make it work. We'll probably go and smite this up here. Let's go and smite that and head over to our wolves here. Early action in the mid lane, probably going to go in Akali's favor. Um, but yeah, uh, with the new season coming up, I think just getting back into the groove of playing good meta champions is really important. Practicing up for the placements and all that stuff. Uh, it is currently Sunday night, so uh, the ranked ladder will be resetting in just about a day now. So let's just go ahead, finish clearing those wolves, and head on to the blue buff. And then we'll consider ganking probably in the top lane because Akali is very hard to gank early with her W. And also considering we have a Katarina, it is going to be very difficult. So let's just go ahead and finish out this blue buff here. That is one bad thing about Shivana. Her early clear speed is not that good, but once you get a few items on her, she's definitely, definitely one of the best clears in the game. Oh, Warwick. I'm just going to ping him, force him off of my mid laner so he doesn't pressure her at all. And I'll go ahead and let him sit on that ward. If he takes the Skull Crab, I'm going to ping help for it. I have Smite up in three, but no, not going to steal it. I honestly think I could potentially fight him here. He's going actually pretty ham for this. I'm just going to bait him in here and please click on the freaking ward. Are you serious? Wow. All right. I guess I flash. He's coming into turret range. He'll die. So, okay. My mistake there was I just flat out misclicked on the blast cone. I was trying to click the blast cone, but I accidentally clicked the Warwick. And then he came over with me and I was forced to flash. But the good thing for us is he also blew his flash and he died as well. So that's definitely one good thing for us, even though he did pick up the first blood on us. So we got our skirmisher saber and our control ward. So a mediocre start could definitely be going good uh the other thing i could have done instead of trying to pressure this scuttle crab which i knew i probably wasn't going to get i could have just came over here and done my gromp instead of wasting all that time so that really could have all been avoided if i had just done my gromp so something to learn from let's just go ahead and clear this out now we'll go and smite it up and continue to clear our jungle so as you can see now that we have our skirmisher saber uh, our clear is going to be much better uh, since we have the double jungle items and it's just going to be much more efficient, much easier, and our damage output will also be heavily increased with the challenging smites, which if you don't know, adds a heavy burn to the enemy and slows their attack speed. So let's just go ahead and clear out these raptors here. And boom, max in the W. We'll go ahead and place our control ward here. And we can actually look to gank bot here because they are looking pretty vulnerable. I'm going to go ahead and ping here. The Nami's coming to ward right now, so this could be very good timing for us. Let's go ahead and W in here. Try to dodge the bubble. Now let's just go straight for Jin here. If my team could help me. And he... What are you... Wow. Wow. That is horrible. This guy just eats straight into the Nami bubble. And... 
how'd he... What? Okay, I'm just not even gonna say anything about that and just move on from that. That was horribly played by my teammates. I don't really know what to say about that. That was just really stupid and should have been avoided completely. Let's just go ahead and clear out the golems here. Just try to keep power farming, get our items as fast as we can. So looking at the other lanes, uh, Nautilus and GP are pretty much tied. Uh, me and Warwick. Warwick's probably a bit ahead of me, but not too much. And then Cat is uh, at a bit of a level disadvantage here in the mid lane, but she should be okay. So let's just go ahead and clear out these wolves here. And then we'll probably cover mid, then head to the red buff. Yes, I'm coming. What, do you want me to gank? We can't gank her. You're not six, and she's got a big ass minion wave. Can't really do anything here. I guess I'll just go ahead and farm this until Cat hits six, because there's not really much we can do there. So let's just go ahead and clear out this. We don't know where Warwick is, so gotta be pretty cautious of that. Let's go ahead and E there for the kill, hitting level five. I know Akali just warded this, so we'll go ahead and try to walk around this ward. And she does have her uh, W, which I, is the only thing I'm worried about. Let's just go ahead and try to come in here. Akali, it looks like she's playing aggressive. She's probably running straight to Warwick here. So let's just go ahead and try to get a bit of damage off here. That that That's really why I don't want to even waste my time ganking mid lane. It's right there because she can just W out. Katarina can't do anything. But she said TY. I think she just wanted to back and put a little pressure on the Akali. So not too bad. Now we can go ahead and start our second... Uh, buff rotation, and all is looking pretty good on the Shivani here. So let's just go ahead and auto that once more, smite it up. Looks like Bot is getting in a scuffle here, but they are uh, getting out alive. Why well, he should not have eat there. Why did he do that? All right, I know Jin's not gonna play aggressive on the Zaya, but why, why does Rakan die with exhaust, and why did he, um? Why did he eat to the Zaya when he could have just run away and survived? And he also should have used the exhaust in that encounter. But whatever, we didn't see it, we weren't there, so we can't really judge too much. So we'll just go ahead and keep farming. This is really what Shivana's all about, really, is farming, getting your items, and eventually you'll be insanely strong. You're, you you want to definitely go Blood Razor, that's by far the best. Oh, she's really low. Alright, uh, after blue, I'll tell her. And then I'll just try to pick this up as fast as possible. Hopefully she can stall out that Akali. Akali did just ward the bot side, so I know she doesn't have the top side warded. So this could definitely be a free kill for us, considering we have our flash up, unless she dies. Why are you going that way? What? 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 Okay. Why don't you just go towards your tower? Like, it's so simple. And then she goes and blames me for that. You could have just survived. I mean... I, I don't know if you guys see it the same way I did, but instead of eating over towards the Akali, she could have just ran towards her tower and either survived or traded one for one at least. But, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and come bot here. Akali's already freaking level 8. But I definitely think we can do something here. Definitely. Actually, Nami's coming to ward this, so let's go and ult over here. Let's go and smite her up, and we'll go and try to flash the bubble here successfully. Then we can start fighting this Akali with the Rakan. And I will... I'm trying to guess where she's running. Let's just go and activate our W, and we'll go ahead and E. That's going to stop the GP ult as well, picking up the slow. Nicely done from the GP, good awareness. So we did successfully push, pick up the double kill, excuse me. And we'll go and push in this wave unsuccessfully because Jin is here. Oh, what is he doing? Let's just go and smite this guy up. We'll go and Q him. And the, oh, red smite. Come on, Rakan. Yes, red smite picked him up. That's really, really good for us. All right. So I didn't expect for uh, the Jin to be able to kill me there. I should have been more aware of the items he had. But either way, we did pick up the kill with the red smite. We are now 420, he he XD. And we are now extremely strong because we just picked up four kills. So let's just go ahead and pick up some components to the Jarm's Fist, and we'll pick up boots as well. And go ahead and farm our top side. That is absolutely huge for us. We just picked up a ton of kills, and now that puts us extremely far ahead of the Warwick. That's really, really good for us. 
Uh, we're really, really strong now, and now nobody can 1v1 us, except perhaps Ackley if she has exhaust. But I'm really confident now I can play super aggressive. I can probably invade and counter jungle the Warwick a bunch. And this is what I'm talking about. Once you get items on Shivana, you, you're just so strong, so, so strong. I'm actually gonna ping, I'm coming up here. So if this uh, GP can stall long enough, this should be a kill onto the Nautilus. Oh, Warwick's right there, he'll probably ult in. Nautilus is tanking the turret and he doesn't realize that I'm right here. So I'll just go ahead and E him there. And please, all right, Warwick picked up the uh, Warwick there. I'm just gonna ult for this kill. I didn't wanna have to, but better safe than sorry, just uh, securing the kill there. Nicely done by GP baiting him out there. And we'll also go ahead and pick up this turret potentially. Nice kill down in the bot lane as well. Double kill for the Zaya. Nicely done to them. I'll just go ahead and try to prep this wave for the GP. Help him clear out the minions. And try to get this turret. Oh! <laughs> okay, I guess that happens. Um, unfortunate, I guess. I don't really know how that happened, but I guess it did. Uh, if this Nautilus tries to fight us, we will, we will destroy him because we have Red Smite. But it's not looking like he is. So I'm just going to go ahead and head mid here. Akali probably has this warded, so we'll once again walk around it. Ah, crap, Skeletal Crab. Maybe she's blind. We'll still go for it. Alright, Akali's playing aggressive here. Katarina! Alright, let's just go ahead and W in here, smite her up. And we'll go ahead and try to Q her, and nothing happening. Once again, the Akali just simply Wing out. Really, the only way I can get a successful gank off is if she all ins the Katarina, which is happening right now. No. Alright, Katarina's not doing the greatest job in that lane, but whatever, nothing I can really do. We are doing extremely well on this Shivana, and hopefully we'll, we will continue to do so. Is this a fight happening? No. Alright, let's go and head mid here, try to help out this Katarina. That was a very mediocre decision, Katarina. Very mediocre. Why don't you just walk towards your tower? That would have forced the Akali to chase you into your tower range and very potentially take an extra turret shot for her actions instead of trying to all in and greet out for getting a kill. I feel like we're learning more off of um, my teammates than me this game. But I'll just go and ping that guy back. I'm going to come over here. We do have our ult. We can definitely 3v3 this. I'm extremely strong. So let's just go, go ahead and circle around here. They will definitely not expect this. I'm going to keep pinging for my team to fight this. And this Warwick is very potentially dead here. So let's just go ahead and activate our Q. And we'll go ahead and ult in here. Please. All right. We picked up the kill onto the Warwick. I think that's enough for me. Hopefully, Zai can tank all this. No one's coming down. Oh, we have a cat. Oh. Um. Yeah. I <laughs> That's totally my bad. I did not see the yeah, Katarina there. That's definitely my bad. Uh, I should have been more aware of that. Uh, should have been more aware to ult in and stuffs. Um, but nonetheless, we picked up three kills for just the life of our support, which is very worth it. Just something to point out, once again, our Rakan didn't use exhaust which is definitely not what we want to see. I'm just going to try to pressure this Akali off the turret to secure the first turret bot lane with no loss. And yeah, that's definitely good for us. We picked up, we only picked up one assist there, which I mean, it's not bad, but it's not really what we want to see either. Um, so let's just go ahead and clear out these wolves here. And as you can see, our clear is extremely fast now. I'll go ahead and come on in here. And this guy is playing very aggressive. So we do have flash this time, so we can potentially follow the Akali. This is probably warded though. Come on, Akali, go in. All right, on the next minion wave, she'll probably start playing aggressive. Yeah, I'm here. The question is, do I, no, bot lane, man. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go ahead and try to farm these Raptors. Hopefully they're up. They are not up. But we are in good position to ult over the wall here. That is what I can say. I engage? I can't engage when their bot lane is right there and Akali has her W. I can't just waltz in there and expect to get a kill. That's not how it works. Either way, Akali Nautilus is coming down, so I'm going to walk this way. Alright, we'll use this thing. 
They don't have vision there, but we do have Nautilus. No, all right. Nothing's really happening right now. It's just a kind of a big acting like we're going to go in party. So let's just go in and clear out this blue buff here. We do have a lot of gold, so after this uh, Gromp here, we'll go in back and spend that. So let's just go ahead and smite this up and start our recall. Katarina is dead because who knows why. She's probably just going to rage at me now because I haven't come mid yet. Either way, let's go ahead and grab the Jarn Fish, the Tiamat, and we'll also pick up, I think, the Mercury Cheds. Pretty good pickup just because they have a crap ton of CC and we want to be able to DPS as much as possible in fights. So Merc Cheds will give us uh, as much uptime as we can possibly get uh, to do damage in fights. So that'll be good for us. Uh, I'll go and ping the GP back so he hopefully doesn't fight that. But looks like Akali is fighting here. I'm actually going to go ahead and ult in here onto the Jin. We'll go and E him up and try to do as much damage as possible. We are dead because Warwick. Yeah, that's my bad. Definitely my bad on that. I saw Warwick on this ward and I still decided to go in. That's my bad. I don't really know what to say about this, guys. This is not looking good at all. At least Rakan used his, used his exhaust. That's all I have to say about that. It's like, ju just look at this picture, guys. What do you see that's wrong with this picture? We have a Gangplank farming top, which I guess is all right because he's Gangplank. And then we have a Katarina farming bot lane with no tower to get while they take our T2 mid. What's wrong with this picture? This Katarina is really not very good at all. Really not very good. Uh, that's that's all I really have to say right now. Either way, let's just go ahead and keep up the farming because we've kind of fallen behind with all the fake pressure things happening. Either way, let's just go and clear out this red buff. Uh, they doesn't look like they're doing Rift Herald, which is good for us. But I don't picture us getting it anytime soon at all. So let's go and clear those out. The Jin is bot, so if he pushes up for this next wave down here, I can definitely kill this guy. So let's just go ahead and clear out this Scuttle Crab to get our ult up. And hopefully this guy greeds out for the next wave. If he does not, we're standing right here. All right, he's greeding out. This is definitely good for us. We'll go and use our Blast Cone. We'll go ahead and ult over the wall. We'll smite him. We will E him. We will Q. And just look at look at that damage. There is nothing he can do about that. That's press the attack. That's red smite. That's just, it's such a good combination. Honestly, it's ridiculous. Let's just go ahead and keep, keep clearing jungle, excuse me. And I think I might be dead here. They can very potentially come down here. There's the Nami. I'm actually gonna, all right, crap. If I were fast enough, I would have snuck into that bush right there. And I definitely could have killed the Nami, but she saw me. Let's just go ahead and try to pick up this mid tower because of Kali's bot, and that gives us a bit of time to try to get this tower. They cannot defend it two on four. So please, Zaya, stop being, Zaya! Oh my dear, ugh. This Zaya's so scared. She's six and three and it's two on four and she's acting scared. Like why, man, why? Either way, I guess we'll just keep farming. We do have enough for our Titanic Hydra. After that comes Frozen Mallet. After that comes Blade of the Rune King. Uh, the only downside to this build on Tristana, Tristana, what am I saying, Shivana, excuse me, is that you do have limited tankiness, it's not the greatest tankiness in the world, uh, but your DPS is just insane. So let's just go ahead and fight this guy, nice flash, so let's just go ahead and fight the Akali here, let's just go ahead and ult in and try to do as much damage as possible. We got the Akali with our burnout and the double kill onto the enemy team. That is just the power of Shivana right there. I couldn't even see Akali in the combination of the Red Smite and my Burnout. Just was enough to kill her, straight up. That damage was ridiculous. I'm actually going to go ahead and start up the Rift Herald on my own here because I see the Warwick bot lane. And hopefully they can get the mid lane turret as well. So this game is has definitely taken a, taken a turn here. So definitely not going too bad right now. No, are we not going to have enough... That's so disappointing, man. <laughs> That's so disappointing. All right, we'll just go ahead and start our back here if someone comes up. Yep, we'll go and flash. And enough damage, please. 
Yep, her ult cast time. Yep, she should have bubbled. Her ult cast time stopped her moving, uh, so I had enough time before it got off to catch up to her. That was actually a big mistake on her part. I'm actually gonna come in here and try to pressure up onto this gin, but I'm actually gonna run away here. Ah! Run! Warwick, yeah, Warwick's gonna kill me. Actually, oh! No way! No way am I out! Run! GP saved me! Holy crap, my ult came up just in time. <laughs> I cannot believe I lived through that. Holy crap. That was such good timing. I did not plan that at all, and that was a stupid play to come around here, but man, it worked out. That was big. Either way, we do definitely have a lot of items now. Got our Titanic Hydra, got our Giant's Belt, and we are huge right now, 9-3 and three on the Shyvana. We can definitely carry this game. If we get the right fight where we can lock down that Jin and peel off that Akali from the Zaya, we are in good, good shape right now. So let's just go ahead and clear out this wave mid and continue to farm. So at this point, uh, no one can 1v1 us. It's just simple as that. Our Titanic Hydra, our Red Smite, our Q, press the attack, whatever you want to say. It's just way too much for them. Nautilus might actually be coming for this blue buff here. Where is he? He might be in that bush there. I'm going to take this real fast. Yeah, alright. No, I don't know what Nautilus is doing, but either way. Okay, let's just go ahead and try to clear out this scuttle here. I'm not- I can play so aggressive right now, I'm really not scared at all. Dragon is up, so I probably shouldn't be doing this right now. Let's just go ahead and try to sprint over as fast as possible. Alright, my team's trying to set a trap in the bot lane, which is definitely not going to work. I don't know why they're doing that. What What is that for, guys? Is it a bait? Because it's obviously not working. <laughs> That was a really stupid... What are you pinging me for? You're the one that just sat in a bush for a minute straight. At least I was farming or doing something. Realize I have Smite. I'm, now she's mad because she's 1 in 5 and 2 levels behind me. So she tries to steal a red buff. This is how salty platinum players get, guys. <laughs> it's just kind of amusing at this point. But we can definitely force a fight here with the Rakan on our side. Nice engage. Let's just go ahead and ult here onto the... Jin, let's just go and force him back. We are tanking this up. Don't die. Nice shields from the Rakan. And we are out. Nicely done to the team. That was a really nice engage by the Rakan. Nice peel by the Rakan. Hopefully we can get back here. Let's just go and E here. We can get in this. Boom, there's the kill onto the Nautilus. Katarina with the cleanup onto the Jin and the Akali. Very nicely done to the Katarina there. Nice job to the team. Great peels from the Rakan. And that, my friends, is a successful fight. You know, early on in this game was not looking too good, but man, we turned it around. We definitely turned it around. So let's just, yeah, it doesn't look like we'll be able to get anything though. So let's just go and see if this red buff is up. And that will be that. We do have enough for our frozen mallet. And that is extremely good for us. Actually, Warwick is coming for his red buff, so we can probably greed out for this. He's going to use this thing. He's not going to use this thing, so we'll go and right, red smite him out. Look at this damage, guys. There's the flash out of him. I'll take that. I don't want to greed out for it. I'll take the flash, anything I can get. Uh, so we'll just go ahead. Uh, if they do come for me, I have my ult. I can get over this wall. Not really too scared, so that's good. Pick up the frozen mallet, and we'll now work towards our Blade of the Ruined King. So as you can see, if you're still watching this video, I would be surprised if you were, because the early game was very, extremely boring. But if you're still watching, I highly appreciate it. Um, that's actually something I want to talk about before I get into this point. I look at the analytics on some of my videos, and I see that people don't watch for very long, and I completely understand that. I mean, it's someone talking while playing a video game, while you could just go play it yourself, which would obviously be much more fun. But to all of you who even watched five minutes or six minutes of my videos, I do really appreciate it. Anyone that I can teach for any amount of time in this game, is it's really my only goal in d doing this whole YouTube thing. I just love to teach people about things that I'm good at, and I just really enjoy doing this. So thank you all for watching, but let's just go ahead and get back into this action, because this could be potentially really close. Let's go and smite it. All right, we got the smite. 
onto the Baron, picking it up for the team, and that was extremely close. I, that was nerve-wracking, I will say. That was extremely nerve-wracking. But we did pick up the smite onto the Baron and a kill onto the Nautilus. A valiant attempt from the other team, but not valiant enough. So let's just go ahead and pressure up this mid lane. And yeah, this game's pretty much over. We have our items, we have Baron, we have a lead. There's really nothing they can do about us right now. Nothing at all. Just look at our clear. We're not even using abilities, and we can just auto those to death like nothing. But if GP baits properly, we can definitely kill all of them here. Honestly, we could get a pent here. I did actually get a recent pent on Shibana, which was pretty cool. Oh man, that damage. This could be good. I'm actually gonna go just completely ham on him here. Ult it in. There's the kill onto the Akali. There's the kill. Oh, cat's going off. Cat's going off. Where's the cat? Where's the cat? Please. Oh, cat. Okay. <laughs> that Nautilus totally screwed us over. Katarina literally could have gotten a quadra kill there, and she just, like, sat around over here. Man, that could have been so much more, but... Um... What could have we done... What we could have done better there? Let's see. I could have had a better ult, I think. I could have angled it better. Uh, Katarina could have obviously not sat back and had so much downtime in that fight. Uh, but it looks like uh, Zaya's going to go pretty ham here and try to pick up the cleanup. Kill! Doesn't look like he's going to pick up the kill onto the gin. But definitely not a bad fight for us. Definitely not. Let's just go and pick up. Don't quite have enough for our recurve bow. And I'm not going to waste any time waiting for that. So let's just go ahead and grab a dagger. And that's going to be that. So... Something else I want to talk about, I have mentioned it briefly in other videos, but um, new season coming up on Tuesday. Today is Sunday, and I'm actually not as excited as you may think for it. Uh, the end of this season was extremely rough for me. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I had a huge problem with my computer, and I was off for about a month and a half, uh, so I wasn't able to play League for a long time. And that really hurt my climb, uh, so I didn't actually end up getting my goal this season, which is very unfortunate. Um, but I'm aiming high this season in Season 8. Um, I, the, my only hope is to get good teams, because being in the ELO that I am, if you don't know, I'm in Platinum right now, Platinum 1. Um, being in this ELO right now is really hard, just because the, 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 the teams you get, it's just... Constant toxicity and raging, it, and it's so unnecessary and sad. But excuse me, I need to get in this. Let's go and ult in here and go completely hand. Let's go and flash after that Akali. We'll go and build water up this Nautilus. Just getting in the fight with the damage. There's the double kill for Zaya. Can we get the resets? This gin is being stupid. Holy crap, three man bubble. That was quite nice. Oh man, that. Okay. That was a little too ham, I will say. But otherwise, that was a very nice play. Let's just go ahead and sprint on in here. We're not going to go for anything crazy. We're just trying to force them off the end head. And that was definitely a fight and a half. They engaged onto the Rakan, hoping for a quick pick on him. Obviously, it didn't work out with the re uh, follow-up from me and the Zaya. So that's very good for us. Uh, we are potentially stuck here, so I'll just run away and not be harmed by that. We do have enough for our Bork, so I'm gonna back. All of them are coming up, so I don't really wanna die here, but if these wolves are up, I can really quickly attack those and get my ult back up in case another fight breaks out. So we'll go and pick these up. All right, Warwick is here, so we'll go and wait in this bush patiently. He's not gonna come in this bush. Oh, Zai's here, hello, pop. There's that. I'm actually gonna ult in here. Let's go and go ham on the gin, and we are completely alone. And this was totally stupid. Holy crap! Why are you doing dragon's eye? Oh, this is hurting my brain. Holy crap! That four man stun. There's the Katarina going in. Potential resets. Come on, Katarina. Ugh. Okay, there's another one. Zonia's. Zonia's. Okay, didn't have Zonia's, but Zaya and GP should be able to clean this up. But looks like they're. Gary Cadden out of there. This is pretty hectic, guys. Pretty dang hectic. 
but we did pick up a mountain dragon on our behalf. A few more kills. Uh, I'd call that my fault, I guess. I wasn't aware of the Zaya doing Dragon Town here, and I was definitely alone on that. Probably pretty stupid decision, but I'm pretty positive I had Lu Jin Flash there. Um, oh boy, that's not good. She's dead. Bye bye. GP, can he kite it out is the question. Let's go ahead and try to rush up there and help them in case they chase. But they do have a bunch of super minions flowing in bot lane, so I'm not sure they'll chase that. Either way, 11-5 and 11 on the Tristana. Again, if you guys are still watching, hopefully you're enjoying it. I'm having a fun time playing this one. And again, I know I say it a lot, but my really my only goal for all of these videos in terms of league videos is for the viewers to learn something. Because I know this game is getting more and more popular by the minutes these days. And I really want people to just be as successful as possible in it. So let's just look, look at the, this guy's their tankiest person. And we're just shredding through him. Just like that. Bork, Red Smite, Titanic Hydra. Unstoppable. This uh, Honestly, Siobhan is probably the best solo queue jungle right now. Probably the best. Katarina is still enjoying herself trolling me and being mad at me for no particular reason I really don't think but we're gonna go ahead and cut off this Nami she's being stupid right now she's being extremely stupid I'll let my teammate clear that word out hopefully someone comes through here specifically a Akali or Jin crap that's not good for us oh Jin here what are you doing my man uh, oh my gosh you see that damage does anyone see that damage? Ah, crap. That's not good. Okay, not looking good for us here. Yeah, okay. D but did you see that damage on the Jin? I just one-shot him with something, man. I don't even know what that was. But holy crap, that was a lot of damage. Let's just pick up a GA for our last item here. But um, things that, things that could have gone better there, we could have not tried to 2 verse 5. That would have been a good idea in the first place. And looks like Katarine's going in for the resets here. Very a lot of a lot of potential here. Warwick does not have ult, so looks like they're peeling off the Akali though instead of helping the Katarina. GP could definitely win this fight. Don't leave your friend. GP, you can win this. You do damage. Can you get a barrel though? Nice exhaust onto the Warwick. Nice barrels. Nice parlay. 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 Alright, nice kill onto the Nautilus. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to pick up the Akali though, but very nice job to these guys. Rakan is playing much better now. Uh, he started off the early game very faulty with not using his exhaust and just poor decision making, but I will tell you he is playing much, much better now. Zai's playing a pretty good game overall. Katarina, I really want to say she's garbage, but she's a pretty decent Katarina. Her early game was just definitely not uh, very good for her. And then GP is definitely playing very well. Very, very well. Uh, either way, we are full build now. 225 farm, which is the, what, third, fourth most in the game, which is definitely pretty good um, for a jungler. Let's just go and sweep this. There's no warden here. I'm hoping the Nami will come through here to try to ward Baron or something. Or at least someone will come in here. I'm just, all right. Jeez, cat, shut up. God. That, this is probably one of the most annoying players I've ever played with, to be honest. <laughs> That's like beyond annoying. All right, hopefully we can secure this Baron from the Warwick. Okay, I didn't even have time to smite that. Wow. I'm actually gonna ult over here. I'll go ahead and bork up the Akali here. And just, they, they, they cannot fight me. I'll go ahead and red smite this Nautilus. And flash the Nami wave. Oh, that was a pretty pro play. Oh, but we're getting slowed for ages here. This is not good. All right, nice stun onto the Nautilus there. Let's just go and peel back for the Akali. Try to peel this guy off of her. And we'll just wait it out here. We're going to auto attack flick for the kill there. And nice stun from the Rakan here. This Jin is definitely going to die. And we'll just go and activate that. Auto attack flick again. And there's the triple kill for the Shivana. 16, 6, and 12 on the Shivana jungle. What a game this was. What a battle. I, I, are we seriously not going to be able to finish? Dang, we're not going to be able to finish this? Jeez, man. What a battle, man. This game is crazy. I'm going in, man. I don't care. 
Okay. Oh crap! It Warwick, help me! All right, Warwick actually does a lot of damage, so I don't really want to die here. Oh crap! GP does damage, but Nautilus is up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and disengage here. I don't want to die, so we're just gonna go and back off, reset. We have two inhibitors down, and we will go ahead and we'll just buy an elixir of iron. Don't want to sell our boots because that tenacity is really helping us out right now. So we will just go ahead and continue to wreck some face. You guys can just see the damage I am doing right now. It is just absolutely ridiculous. Just absolutely crazy the damage Shivana does. Honestly, like if even if you have a bad team, or if they're stupid, or if they're raging, Shivana is very easily able to carry a game. Very easily. She's just I cannot stress to you guys enough how good she is at the current in the current state of the game. I'm just gonna blast Cone over and try to pick up these wolves here. We did pick up Elder Dragon, and I can definitely cut these guys off. All right, they're probably gonna be up here. Yes, they're already up here. I think our best option is to go for Bot Hunter. I'm just gonna pressure mid lane with Baron, so they all come over here. Oh, Warwick's coming. Oh, I I don't see they're they're doing this much for me, but I have GA. And my team's bot, and I can just do this. Okay, never mind. But seriously, that was such a horrible decision on their part. They just gave two ultimates for me, three people, and now my team is going off. Go, go, Katarina with the resets. Nicely done. That's two kills. Peel and the Zaya, and that's the ace for my team. And that is what I call. Poor decision making on their part, smart decision making on my team's part, and that's the game, 16, 7, and 14 on the Shivana jungle. Really hope you guys learned something, really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my placements for Season 8. See you guys next time. Peace.